into the southern tip of New Jersey, packing wind gusts of nearly 90 miles per hour. It roars up the New Jersey coast, damaging or destroying more than 72,000 homes and businesses, washing away up to 40 feet beach line as it moves. The Jetstar roller coaster on the Jersey shore never stood a chance. 100 miles north of Breezy Point, New York, severe flooding ignites electrical fires that burn into the night, destroying more than 120 homes. The storm surge in New York Harbor measured at nearly 14 feet, shatters records. Streets, tunnels, and much of the subway system in lower Manhattan disappear beneath the frigid wall of water. Not even the ongoing construction at Ground Zero is spared. Up to 250,000 cars are destroyed, hundreds of them taxis. Uptown, a seven-block area of midtown Manhattan evacuates as a teetering crane dangles precariously 90 stories up. The power grid fails. Two million households in New York City plunge into darkness. NYU Hospital is forced to evacuate nearly 300 patients, among them 20 babies. But it's not until the following morning, when the clouds part and the sun returns, that the scope of Sandy's destruction becomes tragically clear. Second only to Hurricane Katrina, Sandy is one of the most expensive storms in U.S. history and one of its most deadly. But the power does return and the rebuilding begins. Televised relief efforts, star-studded concerts raise more than $90 million for Sandy victims. And in January of this year, the Senate passes and President Obama signs the $50.5 billion Sandy Aid Bill. Now, one year later, thousands of families are still recovering from the devastation of Superstorm Sandy, but it's their faith and resilience that prove they are truly stronger than the storm.